Hey YouTube! Got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Clamp Type. Uh, these guys make the ultimate clamping tool. Uh, any shape, any size, these guys have got it covered. Um, and what it what it does is it takes this uh, stainless wire and it, it basically just makes an on-the-fly hose clamp. And uh, like I said, it, it can go as big or as small as you would like and uh, a lot of different uses for this tool it is definitely a multi-tool to have in your your toolbox or you know if you're an off-roader to keep in your your car you could definitely fix a lot of stuff with this uh, from air hoses water hoses pex hoses radiator hoses um, anything that uh, has a barb fitting you know you can uh, uh, attach a hose to it uh, so I, i've even seen like broken hammer handles where uh, carpenters have uh, taken and uh, clamped the uh, handle of the hammer back together and was able to use it. So, you know, you see a lot of different videos online for the clamp tight, and it's, it's a pretty impressive tool. So uh, what we're going to do today is um, we've got a vacuum gauge right here, and my buddy Jake has already did a repair, and it looks amazing. Uh, he's done a really good job on it. And he, he's fixing to run you through uh, how to uh, do the repair. And we're just going to follow along with him as he does it. And so take it away, my man, Jake. All right, good to go. So you got a couple steps for this process. But to begin, you're going to take your stainless wire and you've got to cut enough to, to clamp the hose. So you're going to wrap the, wrap the piece of wire, we've got one pre-cut here, around the hose four times and add an additional 12 inches. To support your clamp. So we've got our wire cut here and we're just going to make a loop in our wire. So just bend it, it's, it's very pliable, but uh, you just want to bend it to, to get, you a, get you a loop in there. It doesn't have to be neat, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll come out. Bend it in your hose and this is, this is, in, this is for the double wrap clamp, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap it through twice. So take one end of the wire, you're gonna wrap it through. First two don't have to be super neat because you're you're gonna kind of adjust themselves once it once it, you go through the, for the second time. So go through once. That'll give us a chance to uh, straighten up our uh, our lines. We'll keep it a little flat here. Flathead here handy since since I bought my fingernails so but all right let's slot it on over here all right and uh, now we'll just feed it feed it through again all right the second the second loop you're gonna go inside the first the first loop so just uh, just feed it through and. Uh, Just like that. So there's that. All right, that one's good. Move on to this one. And guys, it looks really complicated, but it, it's really not. What he's trying to do is just straighten the wires up and get them equal spaced apart. So when you tighten the clamp up, it looks more aesthetically pleasing and it just looks more uniform. So, you know, all this that he's moving around, he, all he's trying to do is just basically get them, them stainless wire lined up before he puts the, the clamping tool on there. You know, and I'm sure you guys at home would be doing the same thing if you're like doing a uh, uh, replacing a radiator hose clamp on a, a hot rod. You would be doing the same thing, trying to make it look as nice and neat as possible. So, all right. So we just completed step one. You've got double wrapped. See the second set of wires is inside the first set. Now we're just going to use our clamp tool to tighten it up. So there's gonna be four total steps in this in this process, and this is step two. 
So here's your clamp tool. You have a notch at the front end of it, and that's going to go on your loop to hold it tied. See the notch right there at the end of the tool? It's kind of hard for the camera to focus, but you can see right here where my finger is, there's a, uh, a notch. I'm sorry that it's a little blurry, but uh, you'll just have to take our word for it. So you're going to put that notch in the loop, and the two wires that you're going to be wrapping are going to go over the top the first set of nipples, and you're going to wrap them around the second set of nipples. So we will put our... We can see it, put our notch into play over top and we're going to wrap it tightly. So a couple loops and then uh, just feed the wire in the back. Over top, same process as the other side, just a couple loops. And so they don't slip, you're gonna tighten it up in the back. Just like you would a bread, a bread tie on a bag of loaf bread. You All right, just... so you're... So this one slipped off, so we need to, we need to push that over because that's not going to work. But. And he's having to adjust, adjust the wire to slide it back over. Uh, this is only like his third time doing it. And so, you know, it, it takes a little getting used to. And so, you know, probably about the fourth or fifth time, you know, it'll go a lot faster. And when you ain't got the cameraman right here, focusing right in your face it, it's uh, a lot easier as well when you can actually focus on the job and not have somebody you know bugging you one second Matt I'll have it, it. alright guys uh, I, I uh, took that part out where he was trying to adjust the the hose over and what had happened is, is when he put the tool on it knocked the the uh, the wire over to one side so he just readjusted it you see it's nice and neat right now all the way around it looks perfect so we're just going to tighten now and you can put as much pressure on the clamp as you want you know you've just got to pretty much uh, play it by ear and there's really no set tightness they they do say that um the the wire should sit flush with the with the hose so you know you should be able to run your your finger over across across the top of it and the wire shouldn't stick up above the hose and it shouldn't dig into the hose too much i think we're good right about there matt so this will be step three so we're uh basically just going to flip the tool you hold the hose with one hand and you take the other hand and you just bring the, the tool right towards this you. This sets the loop. Just like that. And now we're just going to loosen it up. Everything's pretty much done now. Unhook these, pop these out, and uh, now you're going to cut your wire, uh, let's say a quarter of an inch down. Just take you some side cutters. The wire cuts real, real easy. And then just mash your wires down. And there you have it. Wow, look at that. That looks really sharp. You can't tell me that wouldn't look good as a, a radiator hose clamp on a hot rod. It just looks nice and neat and, you know, It'd be really cool to have that in your toolbox to do a field repair. You never know when you might run into a uh, problem that uh, this could definitely be the solution. Uh, guys, uh, check them out. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, if you see any products that you'd like for me to review, just please put it in the comments. And uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell at the top of the screen and that way you get to see all my upcoming videos so i'll talk to you guys later and uh make sure you check out clamp tight don't think you'll be disappointed this is a lifetime warranty tool so there's the phone number give them a call